Hello Capricorn, thank you so much for checking out this video. This will be your you versus them love reading. I'm going to be looking at the energies of your person as well as your energies and your mutual energies together. Um, even though I'm saying you versus them, feel free to flip the roles as they resonate. Um, this reading will be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and it will be a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Capricorn watching. This message will be for those that need to hear it, okay? All right, Capricorn, let's get into it. Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, commented, subscribed on the channel recently. I really appreciate it. Spirit, please, messages for Capricorn. These messages will be for those of you who already are in connection with someone or have someone already in mind. So messages for Capricorn, please. What does Capricorn need to hear regarding love? All right, let's look at the mutual energies between you. Spirit guides. The mutual energies. Wow, okay. What are the mutual energy? Okay. We got Ten of Swords, Four of Cups. Some sort of ending, possibly, between you two. Either in the past or currently. It looks like one of you or both of you were just checked out of this connection. Um, also, this could be that someone missed out on an opportunity. They let something die or something end because of their lack of interest or lack of effort lack of movement all right so capricorn i'm gonna put you guys on this side and your person over here but again feel free to flip the roles as they resonate okay let's start with you capricorn spirit what are the energies for capricorn how does capricorn feel or think about this connection I'm just Capricorn oh, OMG. I'm just gonna take the one that flipped the Empress interesting so you know your worth Capricorn is what I'm getting right away you know your value bottom of the deck here was Queen of Pentacles um some of you had high hopes for this connection or believed this connection would grow into something meaningful. Tell me more about Capricorn's feelings or thoughts towards this connection, please. Tell me more about Capricorn's feelings towards this connection. I feel like some of you were willing to really invest into this connection. Wow, I got two cards. I thought I was only getting one. King of Cups, King of Wands. Interesting. Could be a water sign or a fire sign that you're dealing with. I, For some reason, I don't get the sense that these are the same people. But we'll clarify all of these and see. Hmm. Maybe this was a third party situation. I'm going to put those two together and get another card. Tell me more about Capricorn's thoughts or feelings towards this connection spirit. What else can you tell me about how Capricorn thinks or feels regarding this connection? How do they view this connection? How do they view this connection? Knight of Cups. Okay. So you could be wanting to make an offer to someone or almost like I got a, um, what's that word? Like a peace offering. And I'm sorry, uh, let's try again. <clears throat> but which one will you choose? Because I feel like there's two to choose from here. We'll see. Let's look at your person. Spirit, how does Capricorn's person think or feel about this connection. Just, okay. That is way, okay, whatever. I was just saying, gonna say that's way too many and they're like, nope. <laughs> okay, 10 of pentacles. 
Okay, we got Eight of Pentacles. Someone here is worried about stability or all they're thinking about stability. Knight of Pentacles. Wow. This person wants to work on... The, like, they're not scared to put in the work, this person. So why the ending? Why the lack of interest? This, per this person here is focused, dedicated, possibly an earth sign that you're dealing with here. Let's clarify and see because I am super curious. Spirit, help me clarify these messages for Capricorn, please. Regarding the person they are thinking about. Help me clarify these energies for Capricorn, please. For Capricorn, regarding the person they are thinking about. Let's start with the mutual energies. Tell me about this Ten of Swords. Thank you. Wow. King of Wands. So you probably ended it with this King of Wands. Whoever this is. Could be a fire sign or it could just be someone who you had a very hot chemistry with. Someone very attractive. The chemistry was crazy. That's what I'm getting very strongly. This is also someone that takes action. Um, I'm also getting an impulsive energy here. Um, almost like they were going after you. Tell me more about this Ten of Swords. So something ended with this person, whoever you had an intense connection with. One of you lost interest or something here. Two of Wands, I just heard Wandering Eye. Someone was looking out at the potential possibilities of possibly other things. Tell me about the Four of Cups. tell me about the four of cups this is someone who's not happy who is stuck um yeah just as i said stuck there's the eight of swords this person or something here happened where someone got caught up in their own head there could have been mind games here as well Tell me more about this Four of Cups. Someone got a little bit frozen in fear by something. Yeah, look at this. Five of Cups. Someone could have possibly not let go of the past or regret regretted things that happened. I don't get the sense that this was a happy connection, even though there was a lot of chemistry. There was always something off about this connection. I have the devil at the bottom of the deck. Could have been toxic or just an unhealthy attachment of some sort. Someone here probably gave in to temptation with the two of wands there. I just thought wandering eye as soon as I saw it. And that could have been on your side or on their side. And something ended because of it. Something ended. There was a lot of stress. A lot of sadness, a lot of regret here in this connection. So let's start with you. Let's start with the Empress. Tell me about this Empress spirit for Capricorn. Why is the Empress here? Tell me more about this Empress, please. Four of Wands. Nope. Four of Pentacles. <laughs> Why did I want to say Four of Wands? Were you married with this person? Did you guys move in together? The Empress is holding back. Tell me more. Tell me more about the Empress, please. The Empress is holding back here. The Empress stopped giving. The sun, there could have been children involved. This empress could have had a child. Doesn't have to be, but for some of you, there's children here. For others of you, I feel like, I feel like that at some point this connection worked. Why is the sun here? Let's ask. 
It's very... Why is the sun here? The Four of Pentacles and the Empress. Why is the sun here? There's the Four of Cups. Yeah, at some point, this connection was happy and then it turned. There was a turning point here. Now, fours are all about stability and... I feel like at some point there was potential here. That's probably what this two of wands is also about. For some of you, there was potential here in this connection. And so it was exciting. There was chemistry. Hang on a second. I forgot to turn on my other light. Um, yeah, I feel like there was promise here and then something happened. Someone lost interest. Someone was unhappy. Someone was looking at other things or distracted by other things. Because see, there's this there's this cup being shown in front of this person and they're not even looking at it. It's like someone was pouring into someone that was not giving the same in return. Hangman under the deck. So someone possibly has become enlightened to the fact that... This is what happened, or this is someone who was stuck. Um, again, not moving, not progressing. There was no growth here is what I'm getting. So tell me about these two kings. Tell me about the king of cups and the king of wands. This could have been also Capricorn, how you felt about this person. It's like there was a lot of love and a lot of um, attraction, but also it, it became unhealthy. Tell me about the King of Wands and the King of Cups, please. Why are these two here? They came out together, so I kept them together. That one wanted to flip. Page of Pentacles. Okay, tell me more. You might have been with this fire sign or this King of Wands, and then in came an, a King of Cups to offer you a Knight of Cups. And you were probably like, wow, that's a lot better than what I'm going through. That's for some of you, but that's what I'm getting. Tell me about this King of Cups and King of Wands, please, for Cap, whoa. Yeah, look at this. Five of Pentacles, Nine of Wands. Someone got tired of being shut out here, of not receiving, of struggling in this connection. This. And then here comes an offer from someone else. Wow, this is going to be a very specific reading. It's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it is resonating, please let me know. Someone here blocked someone else. Shut out someone else. Because they were tired of it. And they were looking for something better. So... Yeah, look at this. There was there was new love here at some point from somewhere else. This could also be self-love. This empress, like I said, when I put her down at first, she knows her worth. Tell me about this Knight of Cups. This could be an offering of an apology, a peace offering, like I said, or an offer of love from someone else. But I do get the sense that this is... This could also be the same person wanting to make things right from a situation that was just cold and tiring and over situation was over and someone wanted to kind of get it restarted again tell me about this knight of cups spirit why is this knight of cups here two of pentacles yeah i really feel like someone here had a choice a choice made to them why the two of pentacles you were weighing your options, wondering if you should take this offer from this Knight of Cups. Three of Pentacles, Devil. Again, I'm getting the sense there's a third party situation here with the Three of Pentacles. Too many people here. And there's you trying to make a decision between something new and something toxic. This could also be you, Capricorn, the one that's making this decision. But I also feel like you're the one in this third party. I only mentioned the toxic part because it came with this five of cups when I initially saw that card. And there's the empress at the bottom of the deck. I'm telling you, this empress is the one. It's almost like this empress 
wants to put her investment somewhere else now. And someone's very sad about that. All right, so tell me about this Ten of Wheels, Ten of Pentacles for this other person. Tell me about this Ten of Pentacles. This could have been a long-term commitment. Or that's what this person wants to offer. There's the hangman. Tell me more about this Ten of Pentacles. Tell me more about this Ten of Pentacles. The High Priestess. Yeah, there was clarity here based off of some spiritual awakening or spiritual guidance. I feel like someone has realized or is finally speaking up about this Ten of Pentacles, about this commitment. Why the, why the High Priestess? Why is the High Priestess here? Thank you. Yeah. Wheel of Fortune. Something has changed for this person. Divine guidance here. The divine has stepped in in this person's life. Again, there's there's like clarity, like a knowing now based off of this wheel. Bottom of the deck, justice. So someone could be wanting to write things there could have been some sort of legal situation, possibly a divorce or a separation of some sort. Just because I feel like this Wheel of Fortune has messed with this commitment here. I'm not sure why I'm getting that, but that's what I'm getting. It's like this commitment was stuck. There were probably secrets. There were probably things that were unsaid. Someone possibly knew deep down that this commitment had to change, that something had to change here. Tell me about this Eight of Pentacles. Tell me about this Eight of Pentacles, please. Spirit, why is this Eight of Pentacles? Queen of Pentacles. Someone wants to put in effort, wants to work on this commitment queen of pentacles she is valuable she is hardworking. she is the wife the mother the she doesn't have to be female but it's almost like they're the nurturer they're the ones that run the household they're the ones that are willing to put in just as much work as the other person Tell me more about this Eight of Pentacles. There's the Eight of Pentacles again. Someone wants to put in work into something. Tell me more about this Eight of Pentacles. Thank you. Yeah, look at this. Someone wants to come in with an offer here, a stable offer. This person, all they're thinking about is stability here, long term. And for some reason, I can't tell you who this is. I don't know if it's a, if it's the person that you were with before that it didn't end well, or if it's the new person. I can't tell. Let's see. Let's keep going and see if we can get some clarity. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? The Capricorn, please. I feel like that there's an offer here and an offer here, and you're debating. I feel like this offer is very stable, though. This person's thinking about doing things right here. Tell me more about the Knight Pentacles. Okay, this is someone new. Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> Tell me more about the Knight of Pentacles. This is someone new. Either someone completely new to you or someone that has come to you completely changed. Tell me more about this. Thanks to that Wheel of Fortune. Tell me more about this Knight of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, this person wants to invest. 
They're also wondering if you're going to accept them. If you'll give them a chance is what I just heard. If you'll give me a chance. Tell me more about this Knight of Pentacles, please. Page of Wands. This person sees a beginning with you. Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So there's also passion here. This person wants to start something new with you that they see going for the long haul here. Let me just look at what's behind this Knight of Wands. Hermit could be a Virgo that you're dealing with. But again, this person has really thought about this. Behind that Seven of Cups. Yep, wondering how they're going to go about making this offer. Which offer are you going to take, right? Which offer is Capricorn going to accept? And there's a tower moment. So I feel like this is going to be unexpected. This offer might be unexpected or this shakeup might be unexpected with the Wheel of Fortune. It's like it's going to completely change things, right? We have two tens on the board plus the ten Wheel of Fortune. So again, there's going to be drastic changes, new beginnings, new cycles. And of course, let's not forget this very sexy Ace of Pentacles here. You know, this is a big offer. And this person here has really thought about it. So let's get some romance angels and see if we can get some more messages. These are some tiny little cards I got from a seller in China. It's kind of like a reprint, but it works. Spirit, tell me more messages, please, for Capricorn regarding this connection. What does Capricorn need to know? Okay. See, look at this. Look what came out first. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going, which I think is what happened here in the beginning. Someone was putting in more effort than the other person. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Jeez. Let's get one more. What else do you have for Capricorn Spirit? Yeah, some of you, I feel like some of you were paying attention to the red flags here and pulled back. Others of you are thinking about it. Debating with yourself. If you want to give this another chance or if you're done. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. I think, I think whether you wanted to or not, you attracted someone else, a new offer in some way. from someone else. And this is going to be a very stable offer. Now, I don't know if you're going to be expecting it because the tower was there, but it's definitely a serious offer, one that you should consider, um, or at least hear them out because they really worked hard on it. All right, I'll see you guys in another video. Thank you so much for checking this video out. Thank you for your likes, comments, subscribes. Please consider liking or subscribing if you enjoy my readings and I'll see you guys in another reading. Take care.